Hey beauties, thank you guys so much for joining me again. So I'm super, super excited about showing you this video because I'm gonna show you how I achieve blonde hair at home for under 50 bucks. So these here are the products that I chose to do this project. It is a project. So these are the products that I chose. Um, I went into Sally's Beauty Supply Store thinking I wanted to get like, oh, this powder bleach and all this other things and just, I was all over the place. I just was YouTubing and Googling and everything like that. But the um, young lady at the beauty supply store took me straight to Age Beautiful and she said, just use this. It's very nourishing to your hair. It's not as, you know, damaging. And I have to say it really, really worked. So I used the Age Beautiful Cream Lightning um, dye in conjunction with the Salon Care 30 Volume Developer. And then for the toning process, I used the Wella Color Charm P18 in Lightest Ash Blonde with their um, 20 volume developer as well. You're gonna need gloves, you're gonna need a mixing bowl, obviously a brush applicator. And this shampoo is just basically a, just a cleansing shampoo that I use to brighten up the blonde and you'll see that somewhat in the video. You're gonna need Vaseline that you kind of see here, um, just the base and coat the hair. You want your mixture to be somewhat a, a creamy consistency. And um, I've already started applying the, um, the mixture to like the center part of my hair because I do know just from experience, even with a professional salon stylist, um, that top portion of my hair is always the hardest to dye for whatever reason, I am not sure. Um, maybe because it's longer than the sides, I have more of a new growth or natural on the side of my hair that the dye just works better on the sides. I don't know why, my hair is just crazy. And you'll kind of see in the video how the dye just processed around. I mean, I kind of expected it because I already, you know, knew how it was. And right here you can kind of see me getting excited because the dye was already turning my hair brown. And I was like, whoa, this is happening way too fast. I gotta get this dye on so I could just make everything all nice and even. So I'm going to leave this in for about 45 minutes and this is what, whoa, yeah. This is what it looked like after the 45 minutes and I was like, uh, let me just kind of leave this on for a little bit longer to see if that brown would, you know, lift any more. Um, but honestly, guys, it really didn't do much of anything. I think this was just all, that was it. So I waited about another 15 minutes or 10 minutes or so. And so this is it. Um, I had already washed the dye out and I was like, whoa, I look, I look fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, um, what's going to happen here? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do the toning process. I didn't do that on camera, but basically I just used, you know, the Wella color charm and this is what it looked like after I toned it. So obviously the yellow part around my perimeter was pretty much toned down a lot. So I'm just going to basically cut this off. I kind of figured, you know, my hair was going to end up like this because all of that brown is just pretty much dead hair and I was just ready to cut it off. So yeah, this is it. I'll insert a picture on the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.